What regulates the temperature of the Earth? The simple answer is mainly the sun and several other things that have smaller, though not unimportant, influences. For decades, a focus has been on rising carbon dioxide levels that purportedly will trigger calamitous overheating of the Earth in the not-too-distant future. Even with the current warming that we've seen, we're getting more frequent and intense heat waves, more extreme rainfall events, more devastating droughts. Uh, our oceans are warming, uh, sea ice and uh, land ice are melting, and sea levels are rising. This is not only simplistic, but also simply wrong and devoid of actual science. The climate is complicated and impossible to predict precisely. But fundamental mechanisms behind Earth's climate are decipherable with rigorous study. Let's start with the basics. The sun is the power source for our climate. Approximately 30% of incoming sunlight is reflected back to space by clouds and by the Earth's surface. Most of the remaining 70% heats the land and oceans. A small fraction is absorbed by water vapor and oxygen in the atmosphere. Eventually, virtually all solar heating is returned to space as long-wave infrared radiation emitted by the planet's surface and by atmospheric greenhouse gases and clouds. This loss is replenished daily between sunrise and sunset. Gases such as water vapor and carbon dioxide are said to have a greenhouse effect because they slow the return of some heat to space. This moderates temperature differences between night and day, making Earth more livable than it would be if it had no atmosphere at all. The most important greenhouse gas influencing the temperature is water, both as water vapor and in the form of clouds. Water's impact on our climate can be as much as 100 times greater than carbon dioxide's and it accounts for more than 90% of the Earth's greenhouse warming. Making up 4 hundredths of a percent of our atmosphere by volume, CO2 contributes less than 10% of greenhouse warming. The higher amount only occurs in the absence of clouds. Compared to water vapor, carbon dioxide plays a very minor role in planetary temperature, a fact ignored by those making CO2 a climate boogeyman. Like all greenhouse gases, Carbon dioxide's warming potential is limited by how much infrared radiation of a particular wavelength is available for the gas to retain. At today's concentration of carbon dioxide, most of the radiation CO2 is capable of absorbing is already being absorbed. That means even if the amount of CO2 were doubled, the warming would be inconsequential. Ozone, methane, and nitrous oxide are also greenhouse gases, but they are less consequential than CO2 and far less important than water vapor. Clearly, the dominant atmospheric influence of temperature is water in the form of vapor, and especially as clouds, that can cover up to 50% of the planet at any given time. The driver of much of our weather is the water in the oceans that covers 70% of the Earth's surface. Oceans have more than 1,000 times the heat capacity as the atmosphere. This stored energy powers ocean currents and atmospheric storms over large portions of the planet. Water's ability to hold heat is why coastal regions have more moderate climates than the interior of continents. Consider the extremely harsh winters in places like Siberia and the upper Midwest of the United States where they're cut off from large bodies of water. CO2 should be revered rather than demonized. Its greenhouse effect serves to moderate daily temperature differences. The minuscule amount of additional warming provided by CO2 increases is beneficial. And the larger benefit of more carbon dioxide is the increase in its fertilization effect. Over the last 80 years, higher CO2 levels have contributed to an overall greening of the Earth and greater crop yields. These are all facts that the climate fearmongers suppress because they don't want you to know or understand the incredible power of water in our atmosphere and on our planet, or the beneficial role CO2 plays in our survival. The experts at the CO2 Coalition provide clear explanations of complex climate topics. 
Go to our website now to stay up to date.